Hey everyone, it's Krista Nicole and I'm back with another video. So as you guys seen by the title, today I'm going to be showing you guys four quick and easy hairstyles to do on short hair. So if you didn't know, I cut my hair a month ago and it's really, really short. I can't do a lot with it, but I have put together a few hairstyles that I've learned to do and you know if I just want to switch it up and do something different with my hair so this is how it's looking right now it's looking crazy but I'm about to show you guys four quick and easy hairstyles to do on short curly hair so I have like a wavy slash curly type of I don't even know my hair pattern or my curl pattern but Basically, I'm gonna just show you guys these hairstyles that you could do. They're really quick and easy and you don't need a lot of materials, so yeah. Before we start the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and become part of the family. I'm still thinking of what to call you guys, but you know, y'all my besties or whatever. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore the real K Nicole. And that's where you'll find me most of the time. I'm always on Instagram. And yeah, let's get right into the video. The first hairstyle I'm gonna do is swoop half up, half down. So I'm gonna insert a picture of when I did this hairstyle before. So basically what I'm gonna do is get my little spray bottle and I'm gonna wet my hair. I'm gonna make a side part and I'm gonna get about this much hair and just set that to the side so as you guys can see my hair is really really short and at first I was struggling on what am I gonna do like I'm the type of person that doesn't like doing the same hairstyle don't like doing the same thing over and over again so yeah I had to find some hairstyles so then I'm gonna get my slicking brush and I'm just gonna slick up this part of my hair and then not touching that front section I'm gonna get the hair that's behind that section and just slick it up and then I'm gonna go from like my ear right here and take up that hair as well Then I'm gonna get my spray bottle again and spray this section. And then I'm gonna use my Eco Styler. This is the Argan Oil. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and put it on the section as well so that it stays in place. And then I'm gonna get my slicking brush again and just slick that hair back. Then I'm gonna get a hair tie and just tie that section up. I'm just gonna squeeze it. Okay, so that's my little half up, half down. And then we're gonna wet this section once again. This is the section we're gonna be slicking. So some more of my Eco Styler. And I'm gonna put that on the front section and then we're just gonna slick it. So I like to make a little swoop, you know. And I just use my slicking brush for that. And then I put it behind my ear and then just fix the little spaces if there is any. This has got to be like one of my favorite hairstyles to do. And I love doing this one. And I feel like it looks even cuter on short hair. Okay, so then once we do that, I'm gonna get two bobby pins and I'm just gonna bobby pin that right behind my ear. Once that's secure, then I'm gonna go ahead and do my edges. So I'm just getting my little pink edge brush and some Eco Styler once again. And we're just gonna do my edges. I just like taking a little bit out right here. Then I just swoop it up. I 
Also, sometimes I do use edge control, but for today, I'm not going to. And then I'm gonna take a second one using my Eco Styler, and I just pull some hair out from the front. And then take that as well. And then with the leftover gel that's on my brush, I just like to go over that part that I slicked and then right here as well. And I'm just gonna wet my hair to revive my curls and make my hair in the back really stand out. I'm gonna get my slicking brush once again and kind of comb it out so that I could scrunch it back up and get those curls back. And the same thing on the other side. And then last thing is I'm gonna take some more gel and do my little sideburns. I just like to curl it up like that and then I'm gonna do the other one as well. Okay, so there you have it. That's the half up, half down with the swoop bang in the front. I love this hairstyle. I think it's super, super cute and really girly. So that's the first one. And now we're gonna do two pigtails in the front. I've done this hairstyle as you guys seen in my girl talk. So yes, let's get on to the next hairstyle. Next hairstyle we're going to do is two pigtails in the front. So for this hairstyle, I like to get a middle part. So to just take my hair out of the last style, I'm just gonna get some water, break up all that gel. For the two pigtails in the middle, I like to obviously do a middle part. So I'm gonna take my pink edge brush and just create that middle part. So once the middle part is like straight enough, I'm not too picky with making my hairstyles look perfect. So then I'm gonna wet it once again. I like taking it from my eyebrow back and I just take a little section. Once I have this section, I'm gonna take some eco and put that. Then I'm gonna take a rubber band and tie this section up. And then I'm just gonna squeeze that at the top. And then that's the first one. So then I'm just gonna repeat everything on the other side and kind of go fast motion for you guys. And yeah, I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did to this side on this side. Okay guys, so now I have both the sections tied up. I'm gonna take my eco and do some edges. So I'm just gonna take some, and I'm just combing down my natural hair that I have in the front. Then I'm just slicking it into one side of the pigtail. Okay guys, so that's that. And then I'm going to take my mousse and put that in the leftover hair gives it that bounce, volume, all of that. And I love that these hairstyles are really quick. You don't have to take a lot of time to do them. And all you really need is an edge brush, water, and some foam or a little styling milk, whatever you want to use. So yeah, that's the second one. I love this hairstyle. Another girly look. I love little girly looks. And you all see that curl? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the second hairstyle. Okay, so for the next hairstyle, I'm just gonna do a simple slick back bun. So for this one, I'm just gonna spray my whole hair. 
and make sure it's all wet. And I'm just literally gonna slick back all of my hair. I did this the other day. Insert a video right here and how it looks. But yes, so I'm just gonna comb back all of my hair. I usually do this when it's time to wash my hair, which it is, so that's why I did it. And my hair in the back is very, very short, as you guys can see. So this is a little hard for to do on my hair since it is short. I'm just going to comb all that hair up as much as I can. As you can see, my hair is short, so it's falling out. But I'm just making sure I'm wetting all the hair. And I have my hair in this style for like two days. It's really just comfortable and it makes you look, you know, sleek. Your hair is just all slipped back into the bun. And I think it's really cute. But this hairstyle is going to hurt your arms. I'm not going to add gel for this one because for the other hairstyles, I was adding lots of gel. So as you can see, my hair is already being slicked because I have gel in it already. But I would recommend to put some more eco in your hair. So once your hair is pretty slicked and your arm is killing you, get a hair tie and you're just going to tie that back. And then you're going to wrap it around like two times and then the last time can you guys see the last time you put it around you're just gonna put it like this and halfway put it in so it's like a little bun okay so i don't know how that looks in the back but hopefully it's cute and then i'm just gonna take my edge brush once again i feel like for this hairstyle doing minimal edges makes it look the cutest like it gives you that kind of like you barely tried so i love that type of hairstyle and then i'm gonna take another one just light you know i don't like doing the most because i feel like just you know how i said the simplistic look looks cuter so i'm just gonna take those two and then this has been slicked down with gel already so i don't really gotta touch it up and then i'm just gonna take some more and do that front piece like that and then i just take the rest of the gel that's on the brush and comb it back i'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side is it just me or like do you guys have that one side of your edges that just comes out like bomb every single time i feel like this is my good side because this side i'd be having to pull hair like more hair out or something but this one, it's like they're always just laid really good. So there you go. I look like a ballerina. But I really like this hairstyle. I think it's super cute. Simplistic, you know. Little bun in the back. Little hair is coming out. Like, I like that look. And I think it's super cute. So this is the third hairstyle. Okay, guys. So we finally made it to the last hairstyle. So I'm going to just take this out every time i take my hair out of this style i had my hair in this style for like two days straight and i took my hair out and i was like oh crap my hair is short like i totally forgot but yeah so i'm gonna do a side part with a swoop in the front and then i'm probably gonna add a headband to you know accessorize it what happened right there oh my gosh so i'm just gonna comb out my hair as you guys can see get my pink edge brush and I'm gonna make a side part. My hair is naturally in a side part. Um, sometimes I'll put it in the middle, like how you guys seen in the beginning, but usually my hair is in a side part because the way my hair was cut was like a little fringe, so it goes like this and it frames my face. But yeah, I love my short hair so, so much. It does not matter the length of your hair. You could still be doing cute stuff, you know? So I'm just gonna slick that also you know i have lots of gel in my hair so that's why it is so slick like that but i'm just gonna take a section like right here and then the rest is gonna be out so i'm just gonna get a section and put that behind my ear okay so i'm gonna take probably about that much and then the rest i'm just gonna leave out so i'm gonna take two bobby pins though so that that slick part could stay slicked 
So once again, I'm gonna take it behind my ear and bobby pin it. And you won't be able to see it because my rest of my hair is gonna be down. So it's perfect to hide it. And then I'm just gonna bring my hair out a little bit. Try to poof it a little. Get that volume back from all this gel weighing it down. See, as you can see, my hair is trying to curl back up, but all this gel kind of making it hard. So then I'm just going to spray lots and lots of water because I need to get my curls back from them being weighed down in a bun, you know. But I'm going to wash my hair after this video. Too much gel. Too much product in my hair. So I'm just going to keep spraying it and get them curls back as you guys can see they're kind of coming back and just scrunch them up and then i'm going to do the same thing on this side you guys see like the red tint in my hair i tried to dye my hair burgundy before i cut my hair and it did not work out but i tried it so now my hair in the sun or like light or anything it has like that burgundy undertone to it and then i'm also going to do my edges so i'm just going to put some water and get more of my eco. Two edges right here. And then after I swoop it, I like to comb it behind my ear so that my sideburn could stick out. So that's my edges. And then I'm gonna put a little headband. So what I'm gonna do is put it over my head. I'm gonna put it over where the slicked part is to give it a little extra, you know? This will also cover the bobby pins that I have behind my ear. And then I'm just going to take out my hair, kind of pull it out. I look like a mom. <laughs> but I think this is cute. Okay, I'm about to do this hairstyle more often. I've never even done this, but this will be super cute for some pictures. Just wait. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go do that right now because I'm really going to do this hairstyle again and take some cute pictures. So I'm just adding water, you know, getting that curl pattern back a little bit because, you know, the gel, but then I'm going to take this Loran hair mousse. I'm almost halfway done with it. I really love this stuff and I use it all the time when I'm styling my hair. And it just adds lots of volume and just gets my curls back looking really good. And it smells really, really nice. <laughs> this hairstyle is so cute. Like what? Imagine like with a little, a little white purse. This is so cute. This is my new favorite hairstyle that's on period because this is so cute. I might not even wash my hair today and just leave this hairstyle because this is bomb. This is the last hairstyle, you know, a little bang in the front. Got the curls out in the back and some light edges. But yes, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys loved it. You know, I'm trying to help my girls out with the short curly hair because I know that it can be hard to get some hairstyles going, you know, with hair that's super, super short, like it's short. So yeah, let me know which hairstyle was your guys' favorite. Leave it in the comments down below. Make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button. Become part of the family. Go follow me on Instagram at underscore the real can Nicole. You're definitely going to be seeing this hairstyle pretty soon because this is bomb, period. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Mwah.